What's up guys and welcome to another episode of On The Trail. I'm your host Colin Coates of Built To Wander and today we're out on the Mount Antero Trail just outside of Buena Vista, Colorado. Joining me today on the trail is my good friend Matt Thompson from 3D Off-Road and Chris Hefty from Hefty Fabworks here in Colorado Springs. So Matt brought our Built to Wander Bronco. It's a 2021 two-door Badlands. And Chris Hefty brought out his uh, wild fifth gen Forerunner. I'm sure you've noticed it's not the traditional Forerunner build that you're used to seeing. And we'll dive into that a little bit later. But for now, let's keep making our way down the trail. So this trail in particular isn't the most technical trail in Colorado, but it is one of the most scenic. You're gonna run through a bunch of aspen forest before you hit a set of switchbacks. And once you make it to the top, you're at one of the most prominent 14ers in the state. And the scenery up there is just unbelievable. So Buena Vista is located right in our backyard and my wife and I come out here a few times each summer. We do some four wheeling, we do some camping and fly fishing. It's one of those areas that we just love to come visit and I'm excited for you guys to join us on the trail today. Being in the military, you know, being a wheeled mechanic, you know, we, we did a lot of off-road stuff. I did a lot of recovery things. And moving here to Colorado um, really opened up my eyes. I purchased a Toyota and it kind of started from there and just, it's really opened my eyes to what the world's got to offer. It's not just a hobby for me anymore. I own 3D off-road in Colorado Springs. It has turned into my life, my livelihood, my wife, my kids. You know, this is what we do. I mean, you know, we just find the next place to go and where to have fun at. So I brought out my uh, 2022 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 392. Um, it's bone stock, but we did add a set of 37 inch Nitto tire ridge grapplers. Um, the vehicle came equipped with the Extreme Recon package, which sits about an inch or so taller than a standard Rubicon. So we were able to fit that 37 under there without modifying the vehicle at all. When we come out here, you know, first and foremost, we're, we're doing our best to be safe and minimize risk, but we're also being respectful of the trail and, and the surrounding land so that we can come out and do this you know, more often with friends and family and pass it on to that next generation of, of wheelers like ourselves. So, you know, these days you can you can go write a check and buy a, a vehicle that's plenty capable to come out here and run this trail. Um, but what you can't buy is the seat time and the experience behind the wheel. And that's that is the most important thing to maintaining, you know, a safe uh, environment while you're out running trails like this. Today I'm driving a 2015 Forerunner. Bought this truck back in 2015, so I've had it for eight years now. It's a long travel suspension kit on 38 inch Nitto Ridge Grapplers. This was actually my first Toyota. I'm normally pretty quick at getting rid of vehicles and this one I've had for eight years and I love it. I just keep tearing it down and rebuilding it. Well, there's always a concern at this altitude and in, especially in Colorado here, um, lightning strikes are frequent. Um, rain happens, it gets cold very quickly, very easily. Um, so always making sure that you're prepared, that you have the right equipment, that you have you know, extra clothing, that you've got all the gear that you need to uh, pack in and pack out and, and be able to keep up with the, the weather is always a good thing, especially when it rains. All right. All right. All right. Final 
think we gotta get out of here, guys. We're not gonna make it. I think this is, uh, it's nuts. We're sitting in the Jeep. It's just pounding us with rain. But this is part of the adventure, you know. We talked a little bit about weather and it's almost a daily occurrence that a storm will run through. You just wanna make sure that you're prepared for that when it does. But the hope is this will roll by within, you know, 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes or so. And we'll be back, uh, back on the trail and headed up to the top of Mountain Taro. You know, the Broncos first design, I, I feel that they were out for, you know, the family adventure, you know, nice, easy trails. The aftermarket's not quite out there yet to really put them into hard, difficult spots. It's very nimble. It's doing everything we've asked it to do so far. It's a very capable vehicle. It's just, you don't push it past its limits. You guys may remember we did a on the trail episode out at Black Bear Pass and I had the Triton JL with us, which was on, you know, one ton axles. It was super wide. The vehicle was just really overbuilt for that trail. And Black Bear Pass, once you get to those switchbacks, they're treacherous. I mean, vehicles go over the edge every year because there's just no room for error. And you come around the corner, you got to do two three point turns. In, in contrast here on Antero, the switchbacks I feel aren't as sketchy. Um, and being in, in this new Wrangler, um, you know, because it's still stock, it's a lot more narrow, probably gonna be a little bit more nimble, a little bit better steering, uh, you know, tighter turning radius. And so I think going up these switchbacks will be a little less nerve wracking. I don't anticipate it being uh, as scary, I'll say, as what we experienced on Black Bear Pass. Matt, you made quick work of that, a switch back there with that trail turn assist. What'd you think of that? It's pretty slick, I like it. Must be nice not having to do a two point, three point turn there. Friendships are always about the people you surround yourself with. And I enjoy, you know, when you outside wheeling and hanging out with friends, you get to hear different things that they're doing in life. And you, you know, you can see what you're applying towards you. And, you know, the camaraderie that we have hanging out with these guys has just been amazing. Holy smokes. All right, that, my friend, is the top. Of Mountain Terra. We made it! We made it. Too freaking cool. Full conditions, dude. Full conditions. We got it all. I think it's like even sleeting a little bit. As cold as it got. <laughs> yeah, this is the Colorado norm. It's it, it's not snowing, so we're good. The weather got pretty crazy at the top, but you know what? I think if we make our way down, it might clear up and we might have some fun down there. There's a high alpine lake, Baldwin Lake, uh, just off the Mountain Taro Trail. And we're gonna go out and try our hand at some fly fishing, see if we can't uh, entice a couple native cutthroat into our nets and, and uh, end the day on a high note. The rigs that we brought out here are great to go out and conquer a trail like this, but one of the best parts of this area in general, and one of the reasons why I love coming out here so much is that there's all kinds of other routes and there's great camping, there's awesome fly fishing opportunities. You know, my wife and I come out here, we'll, we'll do some wheel in camp and fly fish. It breaks it up and it just gives you, you know, a little bit more to do out here. It's kind of like an added bonus on top of all the fun that we're having in the vehicles. All right, guys, we're wrapping up our day on Mountain Taro. I told you we had something special in store, and here we are at a nice scenic alpine lake, ending the day with some fly fishing. I want to thank Matt Thompson and Chris Hefty for joining me on the trail today, and Nitto Tire and Driving Line for being kind enough to have us. 
and uh, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know where we should go next and we'll see you on the trail. All right, you getting any bites or what? No. Well, why not? Give me that rod. Let me show you how it's done. Thanks for watching Driving Line. If you guys like this video, consider subscribing to our channel so you'll never miss any of the content we create here. Whether you're into trucks, Jeeps, imports, domestic vehicles, or anything in between, we are here to fuel your passion. So hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time.